Hello folks, and welcome to one of my many impulse purchases. I paid £174 for this 2U rack server back in 2021, around the time that I began my Unraid homebrew storage server build. I knew there would come a time when my Unraid server had reached its maximum storage capacity, and that I would have to think of ways of further expanding my network storage capacity. This 2U rack server is equipped with 64GB of DDR3 memory, and dual Intel E5 2650 CPUs. It arrived completely driverless and missing the drive caddies, but I've managed to source some drive caddies from eBay. I purchased 10 3 terabyte SAS drives for my own RAID server, of which I'm currently using 6 drives. A good friend of mine bought 10 of his own SAS drives for when he gets around to building his own home server. But for the time being, whilst they're currently in my possession, I'm going to borrow some of these discs for this project. The drives that I'm using are 3TB Seagate Constellation ES3 drives using the SATA 6 gigabit interface with rotational speeds of 7200 RPM, a 128MB cache and data transfer rates of up to 600MB per second. Before I can fire this bad boy up and install some software, I am missing a couple of rather important components. Firstly, the onboard SAS controller does not appear to be connecting to the SAS drives that are installed into the drive bays at the front. After doing a bit of reading on the subject, I discovered that the SAS controller on the Intel S2600GL server motherboard requires an Intel C600 upgrade key, which will enable SAS on the connectors as standard they run in SATA only mode. Secondly, all of the upgrade modules have been removed which include an additional SAS module, the remote management module and the in-out module for additional 10 gigabit network connectivity. Let's now pop the hood so to speak, and take a visual inspection of the CPUs and memory that we're running in the server. I just need to remove this plastic air duct and get it out of the way. As I mentioned earlier, we are running 64GB of RAM across four 16GB modules, manufactured by Crucial DDR3 PC3L 12800R at 1600MHz. Let's now take a look at the beating heart of the server, hidden under this heatsink. The Intel Xeon E5 2650 CPU, an 8 core 16 thread CPU, has a base clock of 2 GHz and a maximum turbo frequency of 2.8 GHz. Each CPU has a TDP of 95 watts, a max memory size of 384 GB and a 20 MB Intel Smart Cache. Launched in Q1 2012, and discontinued in Q2 of 2015.
for power delivery, this server has two 750 watt modular power supplies for redundancy. Even when a single kettle lead is used, power is still supplied to both PSUs, so there is even redundancy on the cables, as power can be sent to either PSU from either power cable. On the rear of the server there are four 1 gigabit RJ45 network ports, a 15 pin VGA port, an IOIOI RJ45 serial port and three USB ports. Before I can fire this beauty up for a boot test, I just need to reinstall this air duct across the CPUs and the RAM, and we should be good to go. Power on, and let's get ready for takeoff. Well, we've got a picture and that has a good sign and no hard disks found on the embedded server RAID controller, which is to be expected. I just need to take a little look around the BIOS just to check all is looking good. Here you can see the total memory of 64 gigabytes. Go to advanced and processor configuration. Here we can see all of the information about our CPUs, clock speeds, the caches, the processor versions, among a load of all the good stuff used for virtualization and whatnot. server management well this is where i'm a little bit lost so i'm just going to skip that bit and finally onto the boot options i've hooked up a usb dvd drive with a copy of trunas installed into the tray ready for when this project is ready to move forward but for now this is as far as it goes but all is looking pretty positive In the next video I will get all this doing where it's supposed to be, burning some electricity, adding another 36 terabytes of storage to my network and some additional horsepower. 
I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this glorious piece of kit with me. And until the next video, you take care.